the show here on the CBS Television Network. Ladies and gentlemen, my first guest this evening is a rapper and an activist with a new documentary series called Free Meek. Please welcome to The Late Show, Meek Mill. <laughs> I, uh, I'm doing well. Thanks for being here. Uh, thanks for having me. Uh, you, you had a you had a, a, a really significant week uh, this past week. Yeah. Um, it, explain to the people as sort of as succinctly as you can what happened 12 years ago and this fight you've been having to get um, a, a new shot at a, a trial for the last 12, uh, 13 years. Uh, basically, uh, when I was 19 years old, I'm 32 years old. Uh, I come from North Philadelphia. I would say. <laughs> we call it. <laughs> Uh, I come from the, oh, I would say, like, the hood part of uh, North Philadelphia, you know, uh, out of poverty, you know, uh, uh, kind of is like pockets of bad environments, and I, I was actually brought up in one of them environments, and being at the wrong place at the wrong time, I was falsely accused of a bunch of charges. I got found guilty of all charges, and uh, I'm 32 years old now. I've never been back to prison for crime, and probation has sent me back to prison three or four times without committing crime. And so the, the system is set up is that you went in there, you had a, a very short sentence originally, and It then... wasn't short. A year ain't short. Okay, my apologies. <laughs> my apologies. I know, I know. It's sure it's, any length of time is long, but yeah. you had a, a relatively, to some other, uh, other sentences, relatively short. Yeah. And because of the probation system, any, any minor infraction in the last 12 years, you go right back, right? Yeah. For those who are not familiar, uh, it could be like making a U-turn. Police contact is uh, actually a technical violation. They call it a technical violation because it's not actually committing crime, but uh, going over the New Jersey Bridge is a technical violation. Police contact. Because you're leaving the area you're supposed to be living in. Yeah. Uh, if you just cross the line, like in Philadelphia, you go to the mall and, and King of Pressure, uh, you might cross a county line without knowing you cross a county line and you're in technical violation. Or just traveling, taking your kids to Disney World, just like a regular thing. It, it restricts you from a lot of things. So you're out of jail, but in some ways you're not fully free. You're uh, constrained the entire time. Yeah, I just looked at it as uh, if it was held, holding someone like back, like me, you got to uh, think about the average person. You know me, I'm in the music industry. I'm making millions of dollars. I'm able to provide for my family. Uh, I have a job. I provide jobs for people. I do community service. I pay taxes. And at the same time, I wasn't involved in crime. At the same time, I was still getting pulled back into uh, the system, being placed in jail. So, so what happened last week that, that, that might change that for you? Uh, last week, uh, they ruled for me to have a new trial to uh, review the case that I was initially put on probation for. Uh, I got a label deal with Jay-Z the same day. I got the news the same day. So, you know... <laughs> uh, Thank you. Uh, I'm not a, a felon anymore. Uh, I'm not on probation anymore. I just have an open case, and uh, it's looking great. What? Thank you. The new documentary series. The new documentary series on uh, on Amazon is called, as I said before, Free Meek. Yeah. Um, do you feel like the world's finally hearing your side of the story? Uh, I just think uh, in today's time, we got uh, so many platforms. We got like social media. Uh, you got Google, you got places where you can actually research. You have data now, and, and people can focus and pay more attention. Like, a lot of these things are really, like, common sense. Uh, me, and myself, I've been on probation my whole adult life. Uh, I haven't been in involved or accused of any crime since I've been on this probation at, since the age of 19, but uh, small infractions, small mistakes kept stretching this probation out. Like, I started off with 10 years of probation, uh, police contact make it 16 years of probation, so it just keeps stretching out. So for the average person uh, trying to get a fair shot in America, that's, like, kind of extremely hard. So, you know, uh, we came up with the Reform Alliance. Uh, me, myself, Robert Kraft, Mike Novogratz, Jay-Z, Clara Sa, Dan Loeb, uh, Mike Rubin, a group of people uh, that came together to come together for a better cause, and, and we're working on it on a daily basis. We have a clip here. We have a clip here from Free Meek. Uh, I believe this is Jay-Z uh, talking about uh, your experience. Yeah. A lot of people don't really understand what's going on or don't believe it until they, like, really see it. Meek is not the only one. You tell people these stories, you can't believe it. 
until you like you hear it, like you hear it from a source, and it's like, oh, this is this is not fantasy. This is this is fact. You know, these are just things that are so far that I have to say something. Um, it's not just Jay Z, as you were saying. There are a lot of a lot of. Uh... A, a lot of uh, public figures were coming out in support of you and saying yeah. Free Meek. How aware were you of the Free Meek movement? Um, were, were you incarcerated at yeah. the time? Yeah, I was incarcerated while I was going on, and I was hearing a lot about it. Like, I had people, when I called home, they would tell me the effects of it, but I was so, like, stressed out and depressed, I, I couldn't really feel the full effects. And then, you know, it, I started seeing it, like, on major news platforms and being talked about every day. And, uh, that was the year the Eagles won the Super Bowl. Any Eagles fans in the building, Phil? Uh, they won the Super Bowl and they came out to my song. They celebrated to my song after the win. Uh, Jay Z and Beyonce had a song come out, came out with DJ Khaled. Jay Z, Jay Z is my homie like that. We always kick it. He shot me out. That was just like a dream for me. Uh, Beyonce shouted me out. I had me excited when I heard it on the radio. So you know, uh, I was seeing on the news. I had. Uh, groups of people from my city marching for me out in the rain and that's what motivated me to come up with something like the Reform Alliance to give back to the people who actually stood up for me because I believe that they had people caught up and their families caught up in the same situations if not being caught up themselves so you know when I came home I want to dedicate some of my time to giving back to those people who stood up for me. You know You, you now spend uh, some time speaking in community centers. What do you tell, what do you say to the kids who are growing up in the same kind of communities that you grew up in? What, what, what advice are you giving them? Uh, How are you inspiring them? Yeah, I, I, I always give them advice to chase their dreams. My record label is called uh, Dream Chases, like uh, for every kind in the world. Everybody has a dream. I always tell them chase their dreams uh, because the environments that I came out of, I don't know if everyone's familiar with it, I came out of environments where like, you might got people selling drugs on your step, or they're shooting around your neighborhood every night. You raised in violence. Some people grew up in love. We was like raised in like survival because you know it is survival. It's a dangerous place. A lot of bad things happen. Uh, I always tell young kids, be a leader. I always was a leader. Uh, of course, I came up in that environment and I couldn't be an angel surviving in that environment, but I always was a leader and I did what was best for me and not just follow the crowd. That's how I ended up in the position I'm, I'm in now. So I would say be a leader and uh, never let nobody uh, mislead you and do things that you don't want to do and follow your dreams, chase your dream. Um well, Meek, thanks so much for being here. Yeah, thank you, Zach. I appreciate it, too. Free Meek premieres on Amazon August 9th. Meek Mill, everybody. We'll be right back.